Welcome to the Kirkwood International Motor Truck Collection in Lethbridge, Alberta. We have about 60 international trucks and a few trailers and many other artifacts, uh, fridges to signage, uh, some original factory signs, uh, some gas pumps, and lots of photos. Uh, we normally do a open house the first week in January, but with COVID this year we decided to do a virtual tour and we hope you enjoy it. For 39 and a half years, my father was a zone manager for an introduction motor truck. This was his last company travel haul, and I acquired it from Paul Madge, a dealer in Milk River, which my dad sold it to back in 76. It's a 1975 150 model, half ton, um, two wheel drive travel haul with 392 V8 automatic, had cruise power steering, power brakes, uh, Dana's. 60 rear diff and trailer towing package. Pretty much a full load, custom interior, custom exterior, high back bucket seats. Pretty nice piece to, to have in the collection.
is our 1946 KR11 uh, tractor, RD 450 engine, five speed main box, three speed auxiliary, double reduction rear end. Um, it was the most expensive truck that I restored. It was about 3,000 hours to do it. Um, full air brake, copper lines. The uh, first time I drove the first 200 feet, I knew that it was going to be a very nice restoration, very tight, very tidy. Um, and done in uh, original colors maroon, black fenders. Chuck Wagon Racer and Brick Hauler, Sundown Hank. Hank Marcus was a very colorful fellow in the trucking industry and also raced Chuck Wagons. The uh, truck I have owned for about 20 years almost. In um, about four years ago, we started restoring it. We did a complete cab off and um, put it back to the original colors and put their had the signs made up originally the way it looks and it had a deck on it originally with a tag axle but we dropped the tag axle off and just put a flat deck on it. It looks pretty cool with Shelby's B100 pickup on the back. stands for uh, steel hood, the 10 stands for a 10 inch frame rail, and which is a double frame rail in here, has an 892 Detroit, an 18 speed transmission which had been swapped out, 
Um, 20,000 pound front, 52,000 pound rear ends. Uh, we had actually shortened the truck up to 40 inches. It was built as a logger ordered by the dealer in Grand Prairie. And it was built in the fall of 1980. Um, why it was in the Pacific in an international collection? 1970, fall of 70, to 1981, the fall was Pacific was owned, a wholly owned subsidiary of International Harvester. This is our 1929 HS 104C um, Boulder Dam truck that worked on the Boulder Dam and uh, with a dump box on it. Uh, it was part of the Ron Carey collection in Calgary. We acquired oh, five years ago, six years ago, and um, uh, was actually just on the uh, Wheels of Time magazine with an eight page story inside in the uh, July-August issue. The hull spots were actually pretty powerful and they did a good job. So the uh, neat thing about this truck is chain drive and, and they have their own distinct sound when you're moving them, when they're driving. Um, there was more internationals on the Boulder Dam project than any other vehicle, any other brand by five times. Twice as many internationals as all the other truck manufacturers put together. It was a real piece of history. 